Hey everyone, I am Vivek Khandalwal and I welcome you all to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will discuss insertion sort algorithm. We shall begin our session by introducing insertion sort. Then we will discuss insertion sort algorithm. After that, we will implement the insertion sort algorithm in the code editor. Finally, we will sum up what we have learned from this session. But before we begin, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and clicked on the bell icon below so you never miss an update from Simply Learn's YouTube channel. So without any further ado, let's get started with an introduction to insertion sort. Insertion sort is basically a sorting algorithm in which each item in the final sorted array is sorted one at a time. And it is significantly less efficient than more sophisticated algorithms like quick sort, heap sort, or merge sort on larger data sets. Now let's discuss the algorithm of insertion sort. Let's say we have an array. We will start with traversing the array from index 1 to n minus 1. While traversing, we will compare elements at the current index to its predecessor. If the data at the current index is smaller than its predecessor, then we will compare it with the element before that. After that, we will shift bigger elements to an index up to make space for swapped elements. Then we will shift the bigger elements to an index up to make space for the swapped element and then we will iterate the same steps again to sort the complete array. We have now introduced the insertion sort and its algorithm. Now let's implement this algorithm in the code editor. We will start with creating a function to sort an array using insertion sort. So void insertion sort we will give it argument as int array arr comma int size we will declare variables int i comma key comma j Now we will create a loop for loop from i is equals to 1 to i less than size i plus plus. Here we are traversing this array from index 1 to the size n minus 1. So key is equals to arr at i and j is equals to i minus 1. Now we will move the elements of arr 0 to i minus 1 that are greater than the key to one position ahead of the current position. So while j is greater than equals to 0 and arr at j is greater than key then we will swap these so arr at j plus 1 is equals to arr at j and j will be equals to j minus 1. And then we will assign arr j plus 1 is equals to key. Now we will write a function to print this array of size void print array we will give its argument as int array and size size
we will declare int i is equals to 0 for loop i is equals to 0 i less than size i plus plus c out arr arr bracket i and say out handle now we will write the main block So int arr is equals to twelve, comma, eleven, comma, fifteen, comma, nine, comma, six, comma, seven. Int size is equals to we will find the size using size of so size is equals to size of arr divided by size of arr at index 0 now we will print this array without sorting so C out unsorted array and we will print array arr comma size Now we will call insertion sort arr comma size c out we will print this array sorted Now we will again call print array argument as arr comma size now let's print this as you can see our function is working flawlessly. It has sorted this array. Let's get back to our slides. At last, let's sum up what we have learned from this session. First up, insertion sort is efficient for arrays with small data sets. Next up, insertion sort requires a constant amount of extra memory. Next, insertion sort can only sort a single element at a time. And finally, insertion sort has the worst complexity of big O of n square. And this was all for today's session. Hope you guys found it informative and helpful. If you like this session, then like, share and subscribe. If you have any questions, then you can drop them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more from Simply Run. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.